US President Barack Obama is a true believer in genetic science. In 2006, as a senator, he introduced legislation to improve development and appropriate use of genetic tests. Dr Gilbert Oman was a scientific advisor to the president during the 2008 campaign and is a senior professor of medicine, human genetics and public health at the University of Michigan. He's in Sydney to present a paper on the Human Proteome Project at the organisation's annual conference and he joins me now. Dr Oman, thank you for your time. Firstly, can you describe to us what the Human Proteome Project is? Yes, indeed. The proteome is the... Uh constellation of all the proteins in our bodies, just like the genome is the combination of all the genes. This term proteome, actually, you might be very interested to know, was created here in Australia by a young scientist named Mark Wilkins 15 years ago, who is participating together with many colleagues from all over Australia in this World Congress of Proteomics. So what's the goal? What are you hoping uh, to achieve? What's the, uh, where is it going to take us? Well, we would like to know enough about how the cells in our bodies work to be able to figure out the appropriate treatments for patients with different kinds of cancers and with many other diseases, make diagnoses earlier and more precisely, devise targeted therapies that spare people side effects but are effective for the particular version of a cancer or some other disease they actually have. And this is the exploitation of the human genome knowledge that we've gotten in the last 25 years. We know now that there are 20,000 genes in our cells, that, in our DNA, that code for making proteins. And we're on the path to find the protein that goes with every one of those 20,000 genes. So personalizing treatment, and um, particularly in the area of cancer treatment, how different is it from how we are currently treating cancer and how much of a difference could it make? It could make a very big difference. Uh, for most common cancers, the drugs that we use only help some of the patients. The reason is that the patients are very heterogeneous, different underlying causes, different mechanisms. They really need different specific therapies. And this kind of research is the way to get there. We have a few examples. In fact, I had a conversation with a man here on Saturday in Sydney who told me he's on one of these new wonder drugs called Gleevec for his particular kind of cancer. Without it, he was getting no benefit at all out of conventional chemotherapy. So to, to personalize treatment like this, though, it sounds as though uh, it would be something that both uh, time-consuming and expensive. Well, it is time-consuming. It takes a lot of clever research, and then it takes drug development, and then it takes clinical trials, and then it takes changing practice of physicians and choices of patients. But people are eager to do this because it will make a big difference. We have a few examples, breast cancer, leukemias, colon cancers, where it already makes a difference. And the benefit is much less side effects and much better response. And is it being supported, is this research and is, is, are these ideas being supported uh, at uh, appropriate levels, at government levels in the United States? Yes, this is a big area of uh, research in the United States. It's even bigger proportionally in, in um, Sweden and Switzerland and China and Japan and Korea. And there are people from all over the world here at this meeting. And we are gathered together to, to announce Thursday here in Sydney the uh, Human Proteome Project, just like the Human Genome Project was announced 25 years ago, and the aim is to uh, make a difference in this field scientifically and then medically. Dr. Oman, we appreciate your time and we uh, wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you very much.